Hello guys, Susicot here and welcome back to Star Stable. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe so you get a notification when I post new videos and click on the little bell so you get notification right away. Ta-da! I have a new horse! Sorry for not telling you, but I had to buy this beauty because I fell in love with her. And I called her Candy Blossom and she's just adorable and I had to have a new horse even that I have not trained other horses that well so my or one horse is level 10 another one level 2 and this is level 1 so I have a work to do but it's so adorable and a beautiful summer horse even that it is cold resistant no tolerates cold I meant but since I have bought it we should definitely read about it it's that very, what should I call it, Pride Classendale, and it's adorable, so let's read about it. The Breed of Contradictions, the mighty Clydesdale has its roots in Scotland and was named after the river Clyde and its valley. Throughout history, Clydesdale have been invaluable companions. Be it as drum horses for the British Army or as tireless helpers in setting, settling Australia. Since draft horses have been replaced by machines in most areas, modern Clydesdales, Clydesdales are mostly bred for show and as a reliable, surprisingly elegant riding horse. Originally, Clydesdales had a modest height of around 150 centimeters. Now they are count as one of the tallest breeds at over 180 centimeters, with some Clydesdales claiming records for their size. Yeah, understandable. That's high. Their silhouettes is defined by their long legs, high withers and striking feathering on their lower legs, lower legs. Common in most draft breeds, the Clydesdale's long, luxurious feathering is often encharged with white leg markings. The Clydesdale is a fluffy companion with a gentle heart and willing disposition. If you are looking for an impressive yet elegant show horse, the Clydesdale is head and, s head and shoulders above the rest. Some words are there, but it's cute! And she's adorable in the summer. Wait a minute. Summer outfit or gear. I bought it at the Midsummer Festival. Same with the outfit for the ride right here. So now we are more in summer mood and gonna enjoy a lot of quests today. So, since we are in Jarlaheim, we are gonna do quests in Jarlaheim. It's been a while, right? So I think it was about time and I of course gonna do some dailies but not on camera because I need to build up some reputation here and there. But I'm on the move. So, let's see what kind of quests we have here today. We have several here in Jarlaheim and also up at Goldsburg Farm. So we definitely need to go over there and check it out. We are near a beautiful horse. So let's go to Jarlaheim first and then to Goldsburg Farm. Oh, look at the beautiful Shire. Yeah, maybe we should eventually also buy a Shire. A Shire, there we go, Shire. But we have a big horse now, so I'm gonna stay with the Clydesdale for a while and then eventually see what the other horse is gonna be or a new horse is gonna be. And we have a quest here at the pet shop with Amelia. Hello, Amelia. Hello. Hey, Stella. What's that book you've got, by the way? Oh, The Tale of the Earl's Return? That's a great book. So exciting. Wow, I remember when Lord Conrad Conrag told John Drawl that he's his father. I was so shocked. I fell right off my chair. Or when John throws the one throws the one necklace to rule them all into the lava of Garnox Ferry. That was so cool! You haven't read it, you say? Um, oops. Sorry, I probably should have thought about that. Spoiler alert! It doesn't matter, you say? Phew. Thanks for being so good-hearted. Stella, take the book with you and give it to whoever wants to read it now. Yeah, I remember that quest. It was this girl at Paddock Island, right? Bye! Bye-bye! 
Where is the other quest? I take him with me since we are on Jarlheim after all. Oh, it's good, Jill. Hello, Jill. Been long time and glad to be back. The reception was really bad around exploration. Exploration Station Beta, Stella. Hmm, it's that kind of quest. I strongly suspect that there's the same kind of illegal equipment there as well. If you have got time, you can ride over there and see if you can find it. Sure. No problem. But it's in different directions, so I take the book back to this girl first. Hello, I have got the book, Hannah. Just gonna back up a bit. Have you got the book? Amazing! You're the best, Stella! Thanks you. <laughs> Thanks so much! Now I've got to start reading. See ya! Let's see. John Draw. Jon Jarl has returned to his home, island of Jorvik. Oh, so exciting! She's super cute. Oh, we got a clock here that we need to wait a bit with. Now, let's check out that expo exploration site. Beta? What's up like that? Oh, it's down here. Alright. And I can see the equipment over here. Here we have it. Oh, we need the G phone, I think. Found an illegal transmitter. Back to Jill. Right? Yeah. Oh yes, Jill. We found an illegal transmitter at exploration site Beta. Well, who did have guessed? Exactly the same type of transmission equipment was at exploration station. It was station, not site. <laughs> station beta as well. Miss Ray can try to shift the blame to her minions and lakeys. But it but if there's dodgy equipment at all of the stations, then it will be pretty tough for her to wriggle out of having any knowledge of it. True. Oh. There the reception was really bad around Exploration Station Gamma Stella. I strongly suspect that there's the same kind of illegal equipment there as well. If you've got time, you could ride over there and see if you can find it. Sure. Let's see, where did you hide or where can you have hide the transmission here? Whoa, where? It's all... it's actually marked on our map though. What? Okay, that was a bit better hidden, I have to admit, than the other ones. They give it a shot here, but they didn't succeed. They found it. Another illegal transmitter. But I will first go up to Gold Spurs farm. <laughs> wow. First, and then go back to Jill with the news. Wait a minute. Yeah. These two kids have run away. I remember now. Loki ran away? Those Sunfields can't keep their kids straight. My kids will never do anything like that. What kind of upbringing are they giving them over there? He must have kidnapped this old. Yeah, that must be it. When I get my hands on him, I will show him that what happens to enemies of Goldspur. Oh, I just wait, Loki. Oh, just wait, Loki. You should taste the wrath of Goldspur. Yeah, right. Gah. Hold on. What's that? It sounds like a chicken. I think we are real through this, but we'll keep going. Tristan, you look like you've seen a ghost. What's it? What is this all about? Yeah, I remember we have gone through this actually. There we have a chicken! And now it's gone. <laughs> okay. What have you to say in defense? Uh, a chicken? Well, what do you know? Where did that come from? Why I'm so nervous? Um, I'm not nervous. Anyway, that's really not important. What's important is to find that darn Loki and put him to jail. Put him in jail, I meant. What are you staring at, Hannibal and Alexander? Stop giggling. What? Those aren't my chickens. What are you babbling about? <laughs> Let's talk to the twins then. Uh, 
Do you know anything? Tee <laughs> We found a whole cage of chickens at the top of the silo. We know we're not supposed to play there, mom, but we had we heard a lot of noise from there and it's the best hiding place when playing hide and seek. The chickens are fun. They want to play hide and seek all the time too, so we let them out. Although now they have hit all over the farm and the fields and we can't find them. But we're hungry now, so we don't want to play anymore. What's for food, mom? We want food now. Wow. Got all the chickens? Now why? That's no fun. You can do that, Stella. You're a great you are great at hide and seek. Thank you for that. Food, 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 food. Oh my gosh, what a kid. <laughs> Alright, where are we supposed to go? Oh, we're gonna find chickens. What? No, that will take some time. If we need to hunt them and sneak up on them. Well, I'll give it a shot anyway. Oh, wait, it's up there. Aha. Uh -huh. Ooh, will we get that one? Not so sure. They're gonna see us pretty fast. We need to be fast running up here. We get it, but it seems that we don't. Let's see. Oh, we get it. Ha ha. Take that. <laughs> Alright, the other chickens then. In the paddock. Not the safest place to be. Oh, hey there, beauty. Oh, look at them. They were actually quite cute. Both of them. And the third, fourth one. All right, let's get the chicken. We got it. Even that said, we didn't. <laughs> Where's the other chicken? In the woods or what? That must be up here. Where are you, chicken? Oh, it's in there. Again, this will also get away, I think, because we need to get close. Yep, I knew it. It's still here somewhere. Oh, it's over there. All right. Gonna get you! Yes! Clock! <laughs> you caught the chicken. Thank you. <laughs> oh, the cows are lying down. I think I've mentioned that before, but I'm not so sure. Oh, here's the last one. Can we get it? Yes, we got it! Tristan, you have some explanation to do. Uh, why I'm sweating? Uh, I think I'm about to get sick or maybe I'm allergic to chickens. Yeah, that's it. See ya. I have to go lay down. What, mom? Do I know anything about the chickens? No, how can you even think that? Those aren't the chickens from the Sunfield farm. There's only five here. I took six. Oops. I mean, L Loki took six. Hey, <laughs> you believe me, don't you, Mom? Your own son? Hey. It wasn't me! Mom, why are you looking at me in that scary way? Uh, if I don't admit it, you will let me taste the wrath of Goldspur? Ah, okay, I admit it. I stole those chickens, but that darn Loki had stolen my sister and I couldn't allow that. I had to end their relationship somehow. You understand, don't you, mom? You were the one who forbade them from meeting. So it was only right that I tried to make everyone think you was a thief. Now you're looking at me like that again. Okay, I will tell you everything. I took a button from his old blouse and dropped it by Sunfield's chicken coop when I stole their chickens. <sighs> Everything went according to plan. Loki was blamed and his soul broke up with him. It went even better than planned. Loki actually admitted he did done it. He must have taken the blame for it, thinking his soul stole the chickens. So mom, now I have told the truth. Everything is good now, right? No? Punishment? Your own son? Please mom, please, please, please. Edune, something to say? Mama. Tristan, my son. 
You have dragged the Goldspur name through the mud. You will get your punishment. You can count on that. I can look. I can look at you right now. So go to your room and stay there. Now. Ugh. He disappeared. So Loki didn't steal the chickens. My own son did. I don't even dare think about what will happen once I tell old Angus. We did better keep this quiet for now. Stella, we need to find this soul and Loki, but I have no idea where to look. They could be anywhere. Hannibal and Alexander, what's all this giggling about? Do you know where they are? Let's talk to them again. Do you know something? Tee -hee. We know where Isol and Loki are, but we are not telling. Tee -hee. Tell me. Tee -hee. Help, Mom. Don't look at us like that. We don't know where Isol is, but she's probably written it in her diary. You can't read, but if you want to read it, Mom, we will tell where to find it. Or maybe not. Tee -hee. Help, Mom. You scare us when you look at, look at us like that. No, we don't want to go to bed without dinner. We will tell you. The book is in the barn. <laughs> Stella, can't you fetch it so mom won't be mad at us anymore, please? Alright. Oh, it was maybe not this barn, but the other one. This one. Let's see now. Don't need to run here. It's far way down. Oh, here we have it. But we need to click it. There we go. And then we go back again. A little bit easy there. Alrighty, do and I have found Isol's diary. Oh. Isol's diary. I hate having to read my daughter's private thoughts, but I see no, I see no other way. Hannibal and Alexander, you are not to yes about certain important matters. But you will get your dinner, but no dessert for you, pesky brats. Run along now. Now let's see. Hmm. She mentions a tree house in Greendale, but it doesn't say where. It's a huge forest. It will be like looking for a needle in a haystack if you have to keep searching until you stumble across it. Wait, there's something interesting. The tree house is so beautiful, even if it's old. I wonder who built it. We found it by an accident. We found it by accident and we w wondered how we could ever find it again once we left. Luckily, Loki discovered some special bushes growing by the path leading to the treehouse. If he didn't notice the bushes with the white flowers, I doubt we did ever have found our way back. Someone must have planted them there a long time ago. They look pretty wild now. Every time I go to the treehouse now, I simply ride to the road to the Greendale. Ride the road to Greendale that's behind the paddock and look for the first bush. Then it's simple to find the way back to our wonderful treehouse. Hmm. She must mean the paddock below the mill here. But I don't understand what she means by special bushes. There aren't any bushes with white flowers in Greendale, are there? What are we going to do, Stella? This wasn't any help. What? You believe this was just what you needed to know to find them? Okay, I trust you. Come back once you have found them. Good luck. Yeah, but I see our timer now. Oh, I already have. So I need to go back to Jarlheim and give Jill the news about the transmitter. And we need to continue with this quest in the next episode. Alright, Jill, we found another illegal, illegal transmitter. Well, who did have guessed? Exactly the same type of transmission equipment was exploration sa station Gamma as well. Mr. Drake can try to shift the blame to her minions in Lake case, but yeah, she's saying the same so we can go further. But that was all we have time for today, you guys. It was actually a little calmer day, but we need to build more reputation in Yorlaheim as well. And of course, I'm super happy with my new horse. She's adorable and I love her markings and spots and the animations on her. She's just adorable and she's perfect for the summer, even though she's a cold resist or she can take cold pretty fine. So she's just adorable. 
Um, I'm going on summer vacation next week, so I will now have some pre-recorded videos during the summer vacation. So during these weeks, I will miss three updates, I think. So if there are some temporary quests, we will not be or we will not have the time to do them. But if there are quests here to be, we will take them after the summer vacation. So we will now just go for um, regular quest in these pre-recorded videos since I'm going on vacation. And after I'm, or when I'm back, we will take a look at the other quests if they are still here after the summer. <laughs> So you guys, what are you doing this summer? Let me know in the comments below. What are, are you going to traveling somewhere? Visiting a friend? Spend some time in the stable? I really looking forward to summer vacation and I really looking forward to go away and just have a nice time with my family. So it's gonna be pretty great. So in the two next episodes, I will not basically be around, but I'm obviously posting videos because they are pre-recorded and pre-edited, so they will be out at the same time as usual or same days as usual, but I will be away on vacation. But I still have my phone with me, so if you have any comments, I will try to comment as fast as possible. So give a thumbs up if you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe, share with your friends, and i see you in the next episode. Bye!